Hi everyone, uh, we have made some upgrades to our QuickBooks um, KPIs and I've added some new areas that I want to share those with you. Uh, the most important one is the payroll analysis. Now, everybody who has QuickBooks connected, um, I'm assuming you guys enter all of the payroll information, either you do it with QuickBooks or if you don't do it with QuickBooks and you use a third party system like KDP or Paychex or whatever or Gusto, there is a way to make sure all of the information is transferred from a third party payroll into QuickBooks so you can do this analysis. If the mapping is all correct and you guys have mapped it based on the roles and if they're hygienists or their doctors or their back office assistants or their front office, one of the requests that we had was people wanted to analyze how much payroll is going to which area of the practice. Okay. With this enhancement, you can do that. With this, you can quickly see of the total payroll in this office, which is about 27.7%, how much of it is going towards the clinical side versus the front? And this practice is about 19.3 plus 6.9 uh, for the front office and a change for um, allocated stuff. Perhaps you pay, they pay, uh, like a temp uh, person out of that and which is not allocated either as front or back and it gets allocated as you know, unallocated, uncategorized. And if you look at clinical analysis further, okay, within clinical they have three different areas. You have your hygiene and your associate and then there's also the, the, the back office, the assistants, and all that. And why is this important? Because now you can do a little bit of an analysis to see which parts of your payroll is growing more than others. Yeah, you can do an analysis going back and forth between last year to date and this year to date, you can compare two months together, you can compare previous month to this month to see which area is growing faster than others. Okay. Uh, for example, I can come down right here. So I'm looking at year to date for this practice and it's 27.7% and their clinical cost is 19.3 and the front office cost is 6.9. If I click on this button, it will take me to the same exact period the year before. And that's a big difference right here. And their total overhead was 20% last year, year to date. And this year it's about 27.7%. So their overhead went up significantly. And most of it went up right in the clinical area. Okay. And you can do a back and forth analysis to see which ones, even within clinical, has gone up. So very useful tool. I hope everybody takes advantage of it. Another important aspect that we have, we have changed is we have introduced the concept of transaction level details in your payroll and overall QuickBooks. So I could bring detailed level information right here and it will show me who's getting paid what. Now the names over here are blurred, but there are filters here and this will give you exact transaction level detail for all your payroll data and you can sort it and you can filter it any which way you want for example you just want to look at hygiene it'll give you all your hygienist salaries okay? remember this works when you put the two systems together you put the quickbooks data and you put your practice management data together because your practice management know what a certain person's role is and your QuickBooks know how much you paid them. Not necessarily you don't have that information in both systems. Some people do, but it's quite painful to enter information in two different places. This brings it all together. All right, another change that we have made is in the overall category, we have transaction level, level data here as well. And if I click on this detail panel, it will give me all of the transaction level data for every single transaction that I've made. 
And we have also added one more category so that it'll help you understand what is mapped into your accounts from your account. So we will show you both the practice by numbers account and we will also show you the QuickBooks account so that you can see which things are mapped to what accounts. So if, if it wasn't clear in the settings when you mapped it, it becomes very clear over here. Okay. Hopefully these enhancements will help you manage your practice better, understand your data, and really make sense of it. Uh, we are available here for feedback on our Facebook page. Uh, send us an email and let us know what other features you're looking for.